In this video, we will solve a longest palindromic substring problem and it has been asked many times in different uh, programming interviews. Here you will be given a string and you have to find the longest palindrome that you can find within this and it should be a substring. So in this uh, string, you can see that if you look at this part, this, this is the center of palindrome and then this B and this B are same. So if you read this B, A, B, from either left to right or right to left, it will be same. You cannot find a larger palindrome in this string. There are multiple answers here. So A, B, A is also a palindrome of length 3. So you have to return one of these, so either A, B, A or B, A, B. So let's see how we will solve it. So there are two cases. One is that uh, the palindrome will be of odd length. In this case, the length is 3. If you look at this example, here the length is 2. So there are two possibilities, odd or even length. And uh, if all the characters are different, then the length will be 1. Since we can take one character, for example, A, and this is a palindrome in itself. So how we can solve, solve it? So if you see, there is always a center. So if it's a odd length, then the center will be an actual character. So this, is, this character is the center. And uh, then uh, we start from this center. If we start from this center and go one step left and one step right, we have two pointers, one to the left of it, one to the right of it. We will call it L. We will call it R. We can start both of them from this A also. So L should be equal to R. So if L is equal to R, then we increment count and move L to this side, R to this side. Or we don't need to keep track of count also. We can subtract L from R and then minus 1 to get the length of the palindrome. So here also L and R are same. So what we will do, R will come here and L will come here. So we have to advance this together, R to the right and L to the left. So now L and R are different. So we stop and we see what is R minus L min minus 1. Why minus 1? Because this is index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 minus 0 is 4, but uh, the length is 3. So it will be always 1 less than R minus L. Because if both L and R are at same place, R minus L will be 0. So here both L and R are same. So we will not stop. We will move R here and L here. So if this index is K, this will be K plus 1. This will be K minus 1. Now they are different. So we will stop. So K plus 1 minus K plus 1. This will be 2, but it should be 1. So it will be always minus 1. You can take an example and it should be clear. Similarly, in the case of uh, even length, we will start from, let's say this, and keep L here and keep R one place to the right. If they are same, again follow the same thing. Move R here and L here simultaneously. Now they are different. R is here, L is here. So only difference is that here both L and R, we start at the same place. Here we start L followed by, followed by R. So how we will do it? Uh, so there are uh, how many centers are possible? If it's odd length, then uh, if this has n characters, this is string, then each of them can act as a center of a odd length palindrome, so n. And if the final answer is even length, then here the center is not an actual character, but between the two characters. So either it will be between these two, between these two, between these two, not before and after. So there are n minus 1 gaps between characters. So there can be total 2n minus 1 centers of palindrome depending on whether it's even or odd. So how we will solve it? So for odd length we can start from i equal to 0 to n minus 1 and uh, l is equal to r is equal to s i. So we will take first character as the center and l and r both are here so both will be same then if till they are same we decrement l and increment r so while l is equal to r and also add the bound check that is l should be more than equal to 0 and r should be less than n the number of characters then l minus minus r plus plus so we will keep doing this and when uh, either l has become negative that is have gone past the first character or l and r are not equal then we will stop and we will see what is the length? So length will be r minus l minus 1 and we will see if this length is better than our earlier 
max length or not so we can keep track of what is the maximum length so far so this was for uh, odd length similarly we can have even length so same logic but instead of l equal to r equal to si we will keep l equal to uh, si and r equal to si plus 1 and now the same logic that is till s uh, l and r are same decrement l increment r and again calculate the length and see whether we got a better solution or not so this way we will cover all the cases all the uh, even length and even length and odd length palindromes and what will be the time complexity so we are uh, keeping each character as a center and also in this case so 2n times and we can go all the way up to this direction as well as this direction so uh, it can be done n times so this loop can execute n times so overall it will be n square and here we are not uh, using any extra variables apart from a few variables so it will be o of 1 space so let's write this in code we will write it in c++ java and python all three languages so you can go through this uh, two examples i had taken a similar example there are a few uh, bounding cases like maximum length of s is 1000 although we will not make use of that so first let's add a base case if s dot length is less than or equal to 1 then simply return s if there is only one character that is a palindrome let's keep track of max length so at least one will be there since we know that length is more than one so one character itself is a palindrome so we will keep track of number of characters then start index equal to zero end index equal to zero so this is some initialization we, when we get a better length we will update start and end although we don't need to so let's first do odd length so uh, i will do it separately for odd length and even length uh, in different loops and then we can merge them so for uh, making it more clear i will do it first separately so for int i equal to 0 i less than n minus 1 plus plus i l equal to uh, i or i minus 1 or we can keep it i and r equal to i although we can keep it one i minus 1 and other i plus 1 but let's start from this while l greater than equal to 0 this is the bound check and r less than n So if s l is equal to s r then we will decrement l and increment r and when they are unequal this loop will exit so if this is not equal break or if uh, this l has gone gone past 0 or r has gone past the last element then this loop will end So what is the length length is r minus l minus 1 and if len is more than max len that is we got a better solution then max len equal to len start is equal to l plus 1 why l plus 1 because l has entered uh, either out of this 0 that is either l has become minus 1 or this l and r are not equal so we want to keep track of the f uh, starting of palindrome so l and r are not equal so it we will take the previous value that is l came from l plus 1 and it came minus minus so l plus 1 and n equal to r minus 1 and now we will take the even case so these will be repetition of code but we will take care of that later so only change is that it will be i plus 1 so since there is no exact center here so l is ith character r is i plus 1th character that is two consecutive characters are l and r so the center is in between them 
and all the other logic remains same now what we need to do uh, return s dot sub str and start will be captured in st and max lem and let's see if it works and it works for this case let's take the other example which is c b b d and this also works so let's submit and the solution is accepted now we see that we have too much of redundant code we don't need it like that so what we can do uh, we can take this code this is common so we can keep it in a function so uh, i will leave it as an exercise you see that this code and this code uh, from here to here this is exactly same so you should create a function called uh, get palindrome length and then uh, use this code there and you should pass this lnr so in first case you will pass i i in second case you will pass i and i plus 1 this code remains same now let's uh, repeat this logic in java and python so length is also a function in java so we don't need a change here here we need a change s dot char at and it should be sub string and here the syntax is different in c++ is its start index and length of the sub string here it's a start index and one more than end index so it should be end plus 1 so this is exclusive this is not included so we add plus 1 and this works in java so let's submit and the solution is accepted in java as well now uh, we will do it in python 3 and uh, don't forget to uh, take this exercise of uh, combining these two loops this doesn't look nice exact same code repeated twice even the loops are same only this l and r are different
so len is a function and we have added a variable now it works so let's submit a local variable and referenced before assignment line 34 so it's en not end let's make it end and this time the solution is accepted in python as well so hope you uh, understood the problem uh, i had written separately just for clarity you should merge these two loops thank you